Hello everybody, this is Irving Cascade for Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. We are here today in the Saffron City Pokemon Center. And we're about ready to leave. Finally. Finally, we'll be done with Saffron City. <laughs> and we're about ready to go to one of my favorite towns. Again. You're probably wondering, again? Well, what town are we going to? We're going to head to Pewter City. Just real quick, there's something that I wanted to show you guys. Something that I couldn't have shown you guys earlier that is here now, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. I could have shown you sooner than now, but I, I just got carried. I got sidetracked. Let me just say that. Anyway. This little tree right here, you can cut down now if you come over here. This is the back entrance to the museum, which means that you can come over here and talk to all these guys. We are proud of two fossils of very rare prehistoric Pokemon. You can't sneak in the back way. Oh, whatever. Do you know what Ember is? There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect ancient Pokemon from Ember. Huh. Okay, well, what... What is Amber so that my viewers know? Amber is a fossilized tree sap. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty simple. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's talk to this guy. Shh. I think that this chunk of Ember contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me. So, I have a favor to ask. Take this to a Pokemon lab and get it examined. I got the old Amber! Huh. If you remember from, um, last time that we were around here, when we went to Mount Moon, I obtained a fossil from Mount Moon, too. And if I'm not mistaken, that means I've now got two fossils. Huh. Well, now there's not really much that we can do aside from, well, we can't go to Cinnabar right now because we don't have it located on our little flight chart thing. So, and we've already been everywhere else, so I may as well head home. Go check on Mom. Go see Professor Oak, explain everything about what you can do now that you can go back here. Hi, Mom. Steven, if you drive your Pokemon too hard, they'll dislike you. You should take a rest. If you go to your mom, she automatically heals you, just like a Pokemon Center. Which is pretty helpful. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon... Are looking great. Take care now. Thank you, Mom. If you didn't get the town map, I think if you come back over to Douche's house, you can talk to his sister, and she'll give you a town map. I don't think I don't know what she does now. Spending time with your Pokemon makes them more friendly to you. No, she just gives you a little bit more information about that, about having your Pokemon in your party. If you have your Pokemon with you more or less at all times, they'll become more and more friendly with you. They'll like you more. Which I don't think really holds any value in this game. But anyway, let's go talk to Professor Oak. Yeah, good to see you. How is your Pokedex coming? Here, let me take a look. Pokedex completion is... 109 Pokemon seen, 53 Pokemon owned. Professor X reading? You finally got at least 50 species. Be sure to get any XP all from my aid. Yeah. He'll give you hints along the way as long as you come back to him and show him your Pokemon report, your Pokedex. If you get more and more Pokemon and talk to him, he gives you more and more hints or tells you more and more about like, Q 
keep up the good work and everything, he'll he'll give you um. Okay, it really doesn't help that much. And either way, you can go to the um, you can go to the PC and use Professor Oak's um, Professor Oak's PC, or I think that's what it's called, and it'll do the exact same thing as coming over here and talking to him. So it really doesn't matter. Anyway, if you forgot, there is water here. As though you could not tell from looking at this. From looking at the screen and watching me going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Anyway. That means that we can surf across it. This is the surf ability. You jump on top of your Pokemon and you can go wandering around and surfing through the water. Well, I'm going to give a little more information than just that. Come on. You can go anywhere that there is water. As long as it's not blocked off by either a trainer. Yes, there are trainers in the water. Or an... Uh, any form of rock or anything, more or less. And if you wander around in the water... Then eventually... Eventually, now, come on. Uh, I'll run into some later. Anyway, we finally get to check this out. This little patch of grass is down south, and this is a ratata which I now have to show, and it's level thirteen. <laughs> uh, you're dead. <laughs> bye bye, ratata. <laughs> Anyway, there are certain Pokemon that you can get here that you can't get in or other places. Like a specific one that I'm looking for right now to show you guys. Just so that you know where it is. Come on. Enough with the Pidgeys. Please. And then I get a Pidgeotto. Great. Just my luck. Uh, enough with the Pidgeotto. Let me run into it. Ah, uh, if this isn't it. Screw it. If you wander around here, if you've got the patience to wander around here constantly, you will eventually be able to run into a Mr. Mime. Yes, Mr. Mime is here. I think he's in this version right here. I'm pretty sure he is. Anyway, I don't want to fly. I want to surf. He's frostbite. And come down here. But yes, trainers will battle you in the water. Oh! And so will Pokemon. This is Tentacool. You will run into a butt load. Yes, you will run into a butt. No, you will run into a butt load of Tentacool out here in the water. Plain and simple. As long as you're surfing, you will run into an insane amount of Tentacool. And easy peasy one two three tentacle is caught. Now, I wonder. It is a jellyfish. I wonder what should I name it? Huh. One moment. A blooper, just like those friggin' things from um, from Super Mario Brothers. Bloopers are the names of those little tentacle monsters in Super Mario Brothers. Anyway, I digress away from the idea of tentacle monsters. Oh, here's some trainers that we can run into. Now, I have to show all the trainers down to Cinnabar Island because this is a pathway to Cinnabar Island. There is another pathway that you can get to Cinnabar Island from, but I will save those Gym, the, the gym leaders. Yes, they are all gym leaders. Holy crap. No, I will save all those trainers for next time. Well, for... I will save them for a bonus video. There. Now that I can get that out. 
Let's fight these guys. Do you want to know if the fish are biting? They are biting my rod! Oh my god! Hey, he, he has a rod. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god! This is Sea King, the evolved form of Goldeen. It's a very horny fish. Yes. A very horny fish indeed. But it's water type, so an electric an electric attack is a one hit on it, more or less. Here's Goldeen, which is the unevolved form of Seeking. Weak against electric type attacks. Not really that good of a water type Pokemon. Then again, not many water type Pokemons, and this is pretty good. Are pretty good. I'm sorry, I was kind of distracted by the fact that I had 666 EXP points. Satan. Anyway, um... Use Thunderbolt. Get rid of that Sea King. And... This last one's a Sea King! So, this guy... Had a random Goldeen in a pile filled with Sea King. That's kind of unusual. Anyway, easy peasy, one, two, three, there goes Seeking. And Fisherman goes down. Darn! I got a big haul, wanna go for it? No! That is not something, that is not something that you tell a little kid. Then again, I'm not a little kid. But he is. Who is? The Pokemon trainer is. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, Magikarp, one of the most useless Pokemon in the game. At around level 27 or 28 or 29 or something like that, it will have evolved. Now, at around like level 19 or something around there, it learns the attack Cackle. Until then, all it has is Splash, which does nothing. Unless you, um, unless you think, like, one of my friends, my, my best friend, oh, you guys know him. You've been watching this. He actually thinks that Magikarp's attack, Splash, is actually the ultimate attack that would more or less destroy your Game Boy game or any other game if it hit, but its success rating is at such a low point. It's more or less like di dividing by zero, in a sense. If you can successfully do it, you can rule the world. But I digress. Magikarp goes down. And he brings out yet another Magikarp. Why don't you bring out a Gyarados? Come on. I want to show off that. Gyarados being the evolved form of Magikarp is actually pretty good unless you get... Unless you're fighting an electric type. Then you're more or less screwed. Because it is a flying water type. Which means that electric type does times four damage to it. But anything's better than having a Magikarp. Then again, I digress. Darn Magikarp! That's what you have that's, that's what you get for having a whole party filled with Magikarp. What is wrong with you, dude? But yeah, whenever you get Magikarp to um I think level 19, it learns tackle. Until then, it is a useless fish. What's wrong with me swimming? Some trainers are actually in the water itself. What the hell? That is a cue ball that is not... That is not a swimmer! You should not be swimming in leather! What's wrong with me swimming? You're in leather! That chafes down in places that you should not mention on public TV. Or around 
children or any of that. It changed your wahihi. Your what? Wahihi. Your Dr. Wawi. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'm sorry. J just acting stupid. It's my thing. Anyway, Tentacool is a water poison type. Tentacruel is a water poison type and is much stronger than Tentacool. It's the evolved form of Tentacool. But. Ooh. I guess they're stronger than I thought they were. I was going to say that they're not really that strong against electric types. Anyway, um, their main attack is wrap. And if they get you wrapped up, you're more or less screwed because chances are, especially if they are higher level than you and they can attack before you because chances are whenever you get unwrapped, They'll just hit you with rap again, which a lot of, um, a lot of players, you see, this is a swimmer, this is not the, um, the freaking cue ball that's swimming in leather, oh my god. Anyway, um, a lot of people that were playing got really pissed off and they changed the, um, the thing where rap takes away your turns more or less because it became too broken. I don't know. Cedra, water type. I don't think it's any other type. The only reason why I haven't continued was because I had to tell you about <laughs> about Cedra. Got tongue tied. Cedra is the evolved form of Horsey, the seahorse Pokemon. And I am officially out of Thunderbolt. So I'm just going to slam my face into Tentacle. Tentacle. The Tentacle Monster. The Tentacle Monster. Constrict another attack of Tentacruels and Tentacles. It's more or less. It has the same animation as Rap, but it does not do the same thing. It does not force you to waste your turns. And it does not stay on you like Rap does in any of the versions. Come on! Hit him! There we go. Slam, which is not working for me. I had to get rid of it. Well, I still have it, but you know. I had to change. I have to change. Uh, anyway, I'm going to heal up Sparks. Because she needs it. Uh, 